Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve the problem that is displayed in the front of our screen. And the question goes like this. It says, a point P is 16 mm inside a 76 mm diameter circle. If the circle rolls for one revolution along a fixed horizontal line, draw the locus P. Now, the first thing you do is to draw your horizontal and vertical line. So if I place my compass this way, my set square this way, I'm going to draw a vertical line like this. You can see that. And um, I will move my set square, my compass, my T square to the center of that line. And I'm going to draw another one this way. You can see that. Now, doing that, I'll place my, I'll measure 38, which is half of 76. So this is what we have here. And I'll place at the center here. You can see that? And I'm going to draw a line this way, a circle. So taking that circle down train this way. You can see that? Now we are told that the point P is 16 millimeter inside the 76 millimeter. Now this is the 76 millimeter here, and point P is 16 millimeter inside. So measure 16 millimeter inside from this point. This is 0, 10, and this is what 16 at this point. You can see that? So from that point. I'm going to place my compass to that point and I am going to draw this this way. You can see that? That means from here to this point is 16. So the next thing I'll do, this point here we're having here is called my point P. Now I'm going to divide this circle into 12 equal parts, just the inner circle, I'll draw it into what? 12 equal parts. So I can easily use my, the half of this, that is to draw the circle, that is the radius, I'm going to mark up, I'll come here also, I'm going to mark up, I'll come here, I'll mark left, and what, and right. So, draw the line that will pass through the center of the circle to touch the other part of it, this way. Then, do the same thing for this, this way, the same thing for this too, this way, then the same thing for this also, this way. When you're doing that, and I can also I call here this is P P naught. This will be P1. This will be P2. P3. P4. P5. P6. P7. P8. P9. P10. Then P11. Now, from that point here, I am going to draw a straight line from that point, this way. I'll draw a straight line this way, right? And I'll divide the line into equal division. Either I'm going to use the radius of this circle, and I'll use the formula 2 pi r, or I'm going to place my compass in between one of the division right so from here to here then i'll come and start marking this will be one two three four five six 
seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve while we don't do this i will draw a line at the top this way and i'll close the line from the last point here i'll close it up right so in doing that i'll do it for every point i'll do it for every point every point So doing that, I'm going to be having center 1, this center 0 here, this is center 1, this is center 2 here, this is center 3, center 4, center 5, center 6, center 7, center 8, center 9, center 10, 11 the what 12 now in doing that the next thing i'll do is start marking my point so i'll take my compass i'll place it from center one to the top here right that is to top here and i'll strike i'll draw a circle this way I'll draw a circle this way. You can see that? Now where the circle, the first circle meets the first line. Now this is my first line here. I'll just draw this to this point. That's the first line. So where this circle meets this line, that is my first point. That will be my P1. Right? Now the next one is I'll do the same thing too. From C2 to enter 2 to the top here. Right? I'm going to do the same thing. I'll do the same thing. Now, where the second circle meets the second horizontal line, I'm going to call it, this is the second circle, this is the second line, and this is the second circle here. I'm going to call it P2. Is that the game? Now, I'll move again to C3. And I'll get it here. Then I'll draw from this point here. I'll draw the circle. Where the third circle meets the third line. I did the third circle here. Meets the third line. This is it here, right? So I'll come here to this point. Can I see that? That will be my P3. The next one, take note of all these points that we are marking. Now the next one will be the fourth circle. Come here. With the same radius this way. I'm going to draw.
right? Now the fourth circle, this is the fourth circle here, where it meets the fourth line at this point. I'll draw to the end of this point. So the fourth circle, this is the center of the fourth circle. This is the top here, this is the fourth circle. It meets the fourth line, that is the fourth line, P4. I'll go to the fifth one, the fifth circle. I'll gauge it to the top here. Now draw the circle again. Can you see that? The fifth circle. Meeting the fifth line, so I'm going to draw the fifth line this way. So this is the center of the fifth circle. This is the fifth circle moving here, so where it meets the fifth line is here. So I'm going to mark that. I'll call it what? P5. So these are the point P that is moving. Now the next one will be the sixth circle. Now this is the sixth circle here. At this point, right? So if I have to draw that, I'll have this this way. So the sixth circle this is the center of the sixth circle moving up. This is the circle of the sixth circle. So it's meeting the line six, which is this. So I'm going to call it my P6. So the next thing is to come to the seventh center. So with the radius here, I'll draw the circle again. Can you see that? Now, if you, if you recall, the seventh circle to draw the seventh line, now both line points five and seven are meeting, are, are having the same line. So this is line seven, line seven, line five, point seven and point five, having the same line so this is the line here so seven meeting seven right so line seven meeting seven so i'll call it my p7 so the next one i'll go to the eighth one i'll mark take it to the top and i'll draw this circle So the next one is the eight, four and eight on the same line. So this is line eight, meeting circle eight at this point. So I'll call it P8. Right? Now the next thing is nine. The same measurement here. I'm going to measure. So we're having this. line 9 p and 9 is p3 and p now at the same point so this is line 9 meeting circle 9 because this is circle 9 here and the next one is 10 the same measurement here draw my circle there's my circle there So it's meeting line 10 here, so I'll call it P10. So P9 and P10, I mean P2 and P10 on the same line, so this is the line of 10, so they're meeting here. Then the next one will be P11. So if I come to this point, 11, gauge it here, I'll draw the other circle like this. So it should be on faint line. So this is 10, then 11, P1 and P11 on the same point, so this is point 11 here. So we have 11, P11. Then the last but not the least, this is 12. I'm going to draw it this way. 
This thing we just this is where keep line twelve is meeting here. So we'll call it P12. So we've gotten some points we need to join so that we'll get the locus. And these are the point P moving in this manner. So I'm going to take my um, French curve or my flexible curve or any curve that you know that you can use to join these points together and you're going to bring out the locus of that point so if i come here i'll take this first you can see that so if i really take this first you see that you taking it then the next one Take another three again. Hmm. Taking it here. Take the next one. Take another one again. Do the same thing. Then the next one. Do the same thing too. See that? Then the next one is coming down to touch this. So I'm going to join that to touch this. So this is what we have here. So this is what we have. So what you have thus successfully drawn is called an inferior trochoid, right? It's called an inferior trochoid. When you have the point P inside the circle, the given diameter of the circle is called an inferior trochoid. But when the point is outside the diameter of the circle, it's called a superior trochoid. So let's construct the superior trochoid in our next video and see how we can do that so if you found this video interesting please don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching